He might ride a Harley But one thing is true He likes American muscle But he's British through and through Harley man He's a Harley man Five, five, two, one Hello people Um I realised when I was sort of going through my my videos, my vlogs, and my old vlogs, that although you've probably seen the diner, the bike I'm on, uh, when I did the mods, and there's a picture of it on one of my intros, there, uh, I haven't done a walk around. So, hopefully, if it's uh, quiet, I'm off to the spot where I did the walk around of my Fat Boy special. Uh, the one with the big ape hangers on it and I will do a walk around of this bike it's only going to be a short vlog just to show you guys uh, the bike and uh, tell you a little bit about it so uh, yeah so this is my vlog for a walk around enjoy okay people here we are this is my ride my Dyna Superglide Custom. Now, a Dyna is kind of in the Harley range, somewhere in between Sportsters and Softtails. Uh, if you look at the front, you will see that it's got a Sportster front end, uh, slightly fatter tank, so a sort of slightly bigger profile coming at you, but it's basically that end is a Sportster front end. Uh, the only mod I've done to it is to put those pullback risers on that you can see, which uh, for me gave it a much more comfortable riding position. Uh, unlike the soft towels, you've got standard pegs. Those are um, you can put forward pegs on. I don't know if you can see on the frame. There's a couple of little buttons just ahead of the exhaust. Uh, they are for mounts if you want to move the controls forward. I quite like the controls where they are. Uh, the engine is very much s the same engine that goes into the soft tails, although mine is uh, an older model engine. It's a 96 uh, cubic inch, uh, which I think is about 1580cc. Uh, the new ones are 103, which I think is about um, 1650, 1660. I'm not quite sure, but it, uh, all the new ones are 103s. And you can actually buy, if I wanted to, I could buy a, a 107 piston kit and upgrade it, but it's plenty fast enough for me. Uh, the exhausts that are on there are not the standard exhausts, they're, they're slip-ons, just the end part of the exhaust. Uh, they're Chromeworks slip-ons. I've never had Chromeworks slip-ons on a bike, I've usually gone for Vance and Hines. Uh, what they call straight shots or short shots. Uh, I really like the sound of these, they're quite, there's a nice deep sound. It's not loud uh, in comparison to some other uh exhaust but it's uh, quite a nice thumping sound it, it carries um, as I found when my son rode it and disappeared up the road to the side to the side right there we are now I don't know if you can make out the um, the derby cover there with the ACE ace emblem that's uh, my own personal cover that I've had on a number of bikes, I've moved it from bike to bike where it fits and luckily all the, the bikes I've had it, it can be transferred over. The ACE, uh, is, that symbol is uh, exactly the same as a tattoo I've got, yes I've got a tat, it's in my blood. Uh, <laughs> um, three very important people to me uh, are called Adam, Claire and Emma, so A-C-E. Uh, people just think it's a standard ace, but it's not. Uh, the, the tattoo I've got is sort of red and black, uh, whereas that's obviously just silver. I didn't really want to have red and black on a... You wouldn't see it on a black derby cover. The reason the derby cover's black against the chrome is that all the other bikes I've had um, have been dark. So I've had a dark uh, primary cover, and this one happens to have chrome. Uh, I don't know if you can also make out underneath, hanging quite low there, is a gremlin bell. <laughs> now, if you want to go to my old channel, you'll um, you'll see a vlog about gremlin bells. 
So I haven't done an awful lot to this bike since I've had it. Um, obviously the derby cover is a change, the pullback risers, and really that's about it at the moment. And uh, apart from the upgrade, it's got an ignition module uh, underneath the seat um, because I had the slip-ons and I've put the high flow air filter on. Normally you would see a black cover under the the air box but uh, as you can see it's quite open behind there uh, it's just a high flow air filter going through as a, a stage one kit if you like and i had to balance it all up the other thing i've done which is noticeable noticeable by the fact that if you look at the exhaust they're tapering downwards slightly is i put a lowering kit on it basically they're just a couple of little blocks that move the mounting position of the shocks back you can see if you look at the rear shock, you'll see two bolts. Well, the bolt at the front is where the shock was originally mounted, and the bolt at the back is where it is now mounted, which sort of dropped the back. Gives the bike a better profile for me, gives it a better feel. And uh, that's my bike, people. That's the current beastie. Uh, to say I bought it out of necessity it, it is somewhat true. I bought it because it was the best Harley I could afford for the money I had at the time. And at the time, my brain was saying to me, well, I'll keep it for a while and I'll change it, because uh, it would it'd just get me back into Harleys, just get me back on on a Harley. But I really like it. I really do. I know I, 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 I love the Fat Boy. The Fat Boy is a lovely bike. Um, and the soft tail slim that I had. But I like this. I like this Dyna. Uh, if you look at the Dyna range, there are loads of variants wide glide, street bob, um, all very different but all part of the Dyna family. So uh, it's sort of classed as an entry level to the big V-twins but I tell you what for an entry level bike it's uh, it's quite nice. Well that's it, I don't want to bore you to tears. There's my beastie. Now I'm going home for a coffee and a chocolate biscuit. <laughs> See you later, guys.